Nice solo. This for uh, Troy. Can you talk about? The, yep. Gotcha. Can you talk about the job you guys did on on Tate today? Sort of what the game plan was for dealing with him, and how much of an impact did uh, Dimitri Birch have on preparing you guys? Tagger said he was pretty much uh, irreplaceable in terms of getting you guys ready for Tate. I mean, the stats show. Snap. Uh, the stats show that we uh, we held him to whatever it was uh, that he's never been held to. I mean, guys just went out there and did their job, and we executed Coach Levis' game plan of just trying to get as many hits on him as we can throughout the game and just try to tire him out. And uh, without Dimitri Birch, I don't think we uh, played the way we played tonight. I mean, he gave us a tremendous look these past 10 days. He's done everything he's needed to do. I mean, he's given us the the speed, the strength, everything that uh, Khalil Tate brings to the table, Dimitri brought to the table for us throughout the week. I mean, we turned Dimitri live during our on Monday practice, so we had a really good look throughout the week. And without him, I don't think we would uh, produce the way we produced tonight. Willie called you a, a mini offensive coordinator for uh, uh, calling for that flea flicker play. What what did you see in the defense there? That uh... Uh, We just got a turnover or whatever happened, and uh, I just felt like we should take a shot. Um, the way that they've been playing us all day uh, seemed like it would have been open, and so it happened to be. All right, right. Troy, right here. You're kind of a mild mannered guy. What was said between you and Tay, and how chippy was that game in the first half, particularly that kind of 12 minute stretch there in the first and second quarter? Uh, it got really chippy out there, but uh, I'm not going to say what we said on the field. Whatever said on the field stays on the field. But I mean, when it comes to my, my teammates and my, my defensive brothers, I'm going to stand up for those dudes no matter what. I'm ready to go to war, ready to go to battle with anybody. It doesn't matter who you are. I'm ready to step in your face if you try to disrespect one of my guys. And I, I, they just know I got their back because I know they got my back. And uh, we were just ready to ride. Uh, question for Charles: How much of a difference did you guys see in the in the offense tonight, having Justin back? Uh, Justin's an uh, irreplaceable guy, so to have him back, you know, uh, was great. You know, we got a bunch of passes thrown to us. Uh, a lot of guys made plays, and you know, Justin's just a, a great guy, great, you know, great player. Yeah, quick two part for Troy. Uh, what motivates you on the field? And second, Oregon State coming up. Memories of that, and what's that gonna feel like? To get a little revenge or whatever. Yeah, what motivates me is just going out there and I let my teammates down because I don't want to be the guy accountable to make the mistake and uh, blow the game. So I just go out there and try to fight for my brothers because, I mean, we've been through a lot going back to winter, going, going back to the chase, I mean, going through spring ball, going through fall camp, summer workouts. I mean, we've done a lot together. So, I mean, I'm going to go out there and throw my body on the line for these guys because I know they're going to do the same for me. And uh, this this upcoming week is a big week for all of us. I mean, we we all know what it means to the city. So I mean, we're, we're trying to get that that game back that we dropped last year and just get right back on the right track and dominate those guys up the street. Over here, Ryan. Hey, Jacob. Specifically, what does Justin you know bring to this offense, and what's the demeanor? What's the confidence like in you know in the huddle before you know you play with him? Um, to be honest, leadership. Like when he's in the back, just like telling like if. With tempo, he'll tell me exactly where to go, and just I just feel basically like safe. Like I'm just back there. I'm like, all right, Herbie's in here. Like we're, we're gonna roll right here, and it just feels great. Right, Sky. This for Troy. Troy, you mentioned that the defense has been through a lot going back to last year, and, and now as you sit here, you just did something to Khalil Tate that no other defense in the Pac-12 has been able to do. A, a long way from from where this defense was a year ago. Just how good does that feel? It feels great, but we're not where we need to be. We gave 28 points tonight, and that's way too many for our goal. I mean, our goal is to hold teams under 24. But, uh, I mean, it's great when we have guys like Justin Herbert come back. I mean, Charles Nelson, I mean, Royce Freeman, guys go out there and they score touchdowns. And when they when we score more than they score, I mean, we win, and we're happy at the end of the day. But we're still not where we need to be, and we know that as a defense, and we just got to keep improving. And like Coach Levitt says, just keep chopping wood and just try to just get better and just keep improving into this next week against Oregon State and then into the bowl game and try to just translate over into next year. On the right, Steve? Troy, schematically, what was it that you guys saw this week that, that you could do to – to, you know, to, to limit Khalil to 30, 35 rushing yards? Uh, we just got to keep him in the box. I mean, we just try to keep him from getting out into space because that's where he makes most of his explosive plays is when he's in space because he's such an elusive dude. He's such a strong dude, so fast that you don't ever know what he's going to do when he's in space. So as you can keep him bottled up and contain him, mean, he can't really do much when he's bottled up. And that's just our main goal. We had the outside backers just try to just contain him as much as they can and had the inside guys scrape along. D-line did a great job of staying stout all night. So, I mean, it was just a collective team effort um, on stopping that guy. But we did a great job, and we're just looking forward to Oregon State next week. Uh, to Charles and Jacob, do you feel like with Justin back, you guys both made big plays in the passing game, but did that open up the run game even more for, for Royce and TBJ? You went over 350 on the ground tonight. Uh, yeah, when you know when you have a great, you know, 
passing game, uh, great quarterback that, that can throw the ball. It definitely opens up. You know, it, it spreads out the defense, creates more holes, more lanes for the running backs to run, and that's what we did today. I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Last question for these guys. I agree. Uh, Char Charles, uh, Willie was talking about for Royce, this this was a big big thing for him to help get the team back to being bowl eligible, kind of set it, setting the program up for, you know, the future. It's kind of the same position for you here in your senior year. What's what's it mean to kind of get this this win for you guys? Uh, it's a big win. You know, it sets us up, uh, shows us that what we can do when, you know, everybody's on the field and, and making plays and uh, defensively, offensively, you know, we're, special teams wise, we were out there rolling and uh, that's what it's going to take, you know, for us to get wins. Uh, we got to eliminate the penalties and uh, uh, other than that, you know, I feel like we did a great job today. Shows up what they're going to do next year.